You can secure access to your Netbox Cloud instance by adding IPv4 and v6 addresses and ranges to prefix lists, which can then be applied to Netbox instances to control which source IPs your instances will accept connections from. From within the Netbox Labs admin console, you can create, edit and delete prefix lists and also synchronize lists from prefixes in a Netbox instance by using tags. There is also support for large lists with up to 15,000 prefixes and separate prefix lists can be applied to the Netbox Cloud UI, the API and GraphQL interfaces. When you've built your prefix lists in the admin console, raise a support ticket by emailing the Netbox Labs support team and we will apply them to your Netbox Cloud instances for you. To create a prefix list that is not synchronized with a netbox, from within the admin console, navigate to settings in the left hand menu, then scroll down and click to expand the prefix list section and then click on create prefix list on the right hand side to start the wizard. Give the prefix list a name and then click create prefix list. Then enter the first prefix and give it a description. If you wish to add additional prefixes, then you can do that here also by clicking add additional prefix. Then when you're happy, click Create Prefixes. If you wish to add the IP address that you're currently using, then click Use Current IP Address and this will add it to the prefix list for you. Once you're happy with it, you can then view the prefix list from within Settings and Prefix List. Okay, that's great. So next we'll create a prefix list that is synchronized with a netbox. So again, we click on Create Prefix List on the right hand side to start the wizard. Give the prefix list a name and then select the yes radio button to sync the prefix list from a netbox. Then select the netbox instance you wish to sync from, specify the netbox tag that you wish to use and then click create prefix list. Next, switch to your netbox instance and go to customization and tags and create the required tags to be applied to any prefixes that are to be synchronized to the prefix list. So we'll create a tag called API access and prefixes tagged with this will be used to protect the Netbox Cloud API. Then under IPAM and prefixes, add the prefixes. Give them a description and tag them with the appropriate tag. So here we're adding a prefix that covers the Hong Kong office network and another for the Sydney data center. You can then view the prefixes in Netbox under IPAM prefixes by filtering on the tag. Switch back to the admin console to view the prefix list from within settings prefix list. Note that it can take a few minutes for the prefix list to be fully synchronized from a netbox. Let's move on to editing prefix lists. And the first thing to note is that this only works for prefix lists that are not synchronized with a netbox. To edit a netbox synchronized prefix list, you should make the edits within netbox. To edit a prefix list, simply click on the name of the prefix list you wish to edit. To add more prefixes to the list, click on Create Prefix and then follow the wizard again to add more prefixes. To edit a prefix, click Edit and then make your required changes and then click Edit Prefix to save your changes. To delete a prefix, click Delete and if you're sure you wish to delete the prefix, click Delete Prefix when prompted. Moving on to deleting prefix lists, the first thing to note is that in order for a prefix list to be deleted, it must first be detached from any Netbox instances that it is securing. You will need to contact support and request this before you can delete it. So once again, click on the name of the prefix list you wish to delete and then click delete prefix list. If you are sure you wish to delete the prefix list, then click delete prefix list when you are prompted to confirm the deletion. If you encounter any issues while working with prefix lists, please raise a support ticket by emailing the Netbox Labs support team at support at netboxlabs.com.